Hi Capricorn, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the card of family. <clears throat> Excuse me, so this has something to do with your family. You could be, you know, being creating a family this year, being part of a family. Uh, something's important that is going on with your family. It shows that you're protected because there's a, there must be an angel there, right? Someone is looking over you and your family. Um, it says loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. Okay, and then heart's desire. So maybe you have a desire to like have your own family or be part of a family. And that may be happening for you this year, right? You may meet somebody new, become part of their family. Maybe you never really had family. Uh, maybe you didn't know your parents or were raised by you know somebody else or you know you don't eat you know, they're past, they're dead right now. So if that's been your desire to be part of a family, then that could be happening for you this year. Because it says the angels are supporting, guiding, protecting you as your dreams become a reality. So maybe you want to have a family as in you want to have kids, whether you have them naturally or, you know, you adopt or whatever. So that's actually a really beautiful message for this year to look forward to. So it could mean, you know, everything from getting married and, and having children. Or if you're single, maybe you want to adopt a child or have, maybe it has nothing to do with kids. It's just being part of someone else's family or your family. Maybe your family, you are estranged from your family and you want to reconcile. Maybe that will be happening for you. So what is, also there's always groups of friends that you consider family, I always say. And maybe that is more of your wish to be part of a special group to have that, you know, closeness that you've never maybe had before. Okay, so you your cards, you have truth under the deck. You have playfulness, awareness, direction, and realization. This, I feel like you're going to either find out that <clears throat> the person that you have a kind of a casual, <clears throat> playful connection with maybe is turning into true love. Or maybe you're realizing that the path you're on is like it's not a serious path or something like that with playfulness because you're aware of the direction that you're going and you're realizing something and it's a truth. So it could kind of go either way, but it could be that, I feel like there's a, a loving, playful connection that maybe there's deeper emotions there or something like that. So we'll, we'll see what comes up in the tarot. What is Capricorn's message, Spirit? What is Capricorn's message? Four of Wands, Eight of Cups, Death, High Priestess, and Ace of Wands. Interesting, because yeah, something is definitely changing directions. There's a realization here. And then someone here is letting something go. The death is in the position of you, how they view you or the situation. So what is going on with the Four of Wands? Manifesting, Seven of Swords, Two of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. Somebody... I feel wants to be with you Capricorn and they're trying to break free of another situation or there are they are breaking free because I think there's either secret love seven of swords two of cups so it's like a playful friend connection that actually is developing feelings for you or they could it looks like they're probably already in a connection but it looks like that may be ending what is this eight of cups energy what is this eight of cups energy Someone is ending something. Look at that. Someone is going to be out in the cold, but they want to do this. They have been trying to do this, I get, for a while. There's a relationship that they've been trying to walk away from. Or it could be like old emotions. Let's say someone's just been kind of stuck in sadness for a while, depression. That is ending. And this person is taking ownership of their life. They're stepping up. They're taking control. They're doing this. They're, they're letting it go. Death. Making a decision, three of cups is in reverse, reverse, am I holding it? That's okay, that's okay. I just saw you. Moving towards you, there's no more worry. Look at nine of swords is in reverse and the nine of coins. But this is about letting something go, letting another person go. These are in reverse. Someone has made a decision, whenever I get the two of wands in reverse, making a decision, dropping someone, letting go of a, a third person or letting go of something that was more playful in nature, probably. And again, four of coins is letting go. 
And but it's, it's interesting is they see this in your energy or this is how they view the situation. But I think they're letting somebody go to be with you. My view is Scorpio, but <clears throat> mm -mm. you're seeing this happen right in front of you. Now, it could be you. Maybe this is you. Are you the one who's letting something go, Capricorn? Are you the one who is deciding to end something? Um, and so that's how they view you. Oh, look at that. There's new love here. There is definitely new love, someone expressing love. It might be another earth sign like you or maybe an air sign, but it's very direct messages with the Page of Swords. I've been seeing that in my readings this week and last week coming up about messages coming through. Very specific, sometimes surprising messages. Um, people are definitely making changes in January here, which is understandable being the new year. What is this Ace of Wands? But this is going to lead you again, if you want to be part of a relationship, a family, it's your heart's desire. Um, you know, this is showing me that that's where you're headed. Ace of Wands, waiting, working, messages. It's interesting, justice is in reverse under the deck. Oh, some, oh, somebody may be feeling that's not right, but it could be a water sign. But the problem I'm seeing here, it's like someone wants to get something ready before they reach out. It's like they're waiting, working, and then they're going to send messages, Ace of Wands. Now, there may be someone who's left out in the cold. Obviously, there's an ending here with someone. So it may be a water sign who doesn't feel like this is right. They're being blocked out. Something like that. Otherwise, the only thing that problem I'm seeing is like, how long is this going to take? Because if you got to sit down and work on something with the Eight of Coins, and they could be saying they want to work on this with you, and they're sending messages out that you like Eight of Wands. I'm going to do a timing card for that. Could be just that they want to get a few of their things, like to get their ducks in a row. What does Capricorn need to know? That there'll be support for you and stability. So this whole reading is talking about having the support system and the stability that you've always wanted. And maybe you've, you've provided that for other people, but now you're going to get that for yourself. It's talking about like, again, because they're giving us a family card. So maybe family for some of you isn't how you would describe it. You would describe it as support, stability um, right here, right? being accepted and I just saw passion yeah let me do really quick that's the yes no deck let me do the timing deck really quick because I don't know I felt my heart drop just a little bit when I pulled the eight of coins but it's like maybe they just want to finish something up or be ready what is the timing for this what is the timing for this hang on let me do that one more time sometime before February so it's going to happen in about two weeks here we got about oh two yeah two weeks till February starts, so perfect. So it's not far away. So some of you are receiving the stability and the support that you've been longing for, and you so again something that maybe just didn't seem like it was going to happen because this playful card here is kind of like the three of cups, the the fool energies, but it's realizing that something is changing. Okay. Go to this deck. No, let me go to this deck. I don't know, sometimes this deck though starts talking about things that are different. Okay, yeah. what does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? Someone is saying not today. See, someone is getting shut out. Somebody is being told, no, it looked like that King of Cups under the deck. Kind of seeing someone's being blocked. So there, whether it's a man or a woman, whoever they are, someone is being let go of with this death card here. Um, again, somebody is manifesting. See, there's the four of wands. This might be a twin flame connection for some of you. But someone is manifesting the secret. They don't want to be stuck in this old thing anymore. They want to be with the person they love, which is you. So I feel like they're putting their foot down finally and just saying, you know, enough's enough. I'm tired of this person. This relationship is not making me happy. What else does Capricorn need to know? Yep, it's taking time. This is taking time at the clock. There's been seduction, or this can also mean flirting, dating. Okay, but moving forward. This is exactly what I was getting, coffee cup, getting to know each other. So again, I was getting that something that was, again, more of a flirtatious, lighter, third party type of energy or something, or not third party, but friends with benefits type of energy is gonna turn into something 
more concrete or someone is leaving that energy, not today, it's been taking time, there's just seduction, someone is leaving that energy. So I can read it two different ways. Someone doesn't wanna be in a third party, someone doesn't wanna deal with the other person, they just want the two of you exclusively so they could be leaving a relationship that doesn't give them stability because again, we've got the not today card. Yeah, this is who they're leaving. This person isn't giving them the stability they want. They're not giving them the happiness. And so they're leaving that connection because what this person truly wants is a family. They want to be part of a relationship. They want a commitment. So that makes complete sense. Someone wants commitment. They don't want just to be a third party, someone on the side. What is going on here for Capricorn? What is going on here for Capricorn? Something is confusing, but things will be made right, or the stars card, something is going to be made illuminated. The, it's like the sun coming through the clouds. You're gonna see the path. You're gonna understand what's going on. Some, a relationship that's been confusing to you, there's gonna be some sort of truth. So again, someone is gonna be taking you, this relationship, more seriously. They're seeing that they're involved with someone who doesn't want commitment. Something like this is going on. So we got burden. Someone feels very burdened. Could be a woman. There's love here. Friend. And communication. So whoever this is you're dealing with, I hope this isn't confusing. I mean, I'm trying, I, I understand the concept. It feels like it's kind of going everywhere. Someone may be coming to you, Capricorn. Is someone coming to you for advice? And asking you for advice and, and asking for your help and then you realize like they realize <clears throat> you are the one for them the ladies in love with a friend and they're having conversation the lady loves the friend and the guys have a lot of conversation see something's being illuminated it's like okay I'm in love with this person and then this person you know feels like they're in love with you they want to take this to the next level so anyways, I think that's, it can play out a couple different ways, but I believe the message is pretty uh, blatant. There's this love connection that is here that somebody is realizing, like that's who they want. That is their heart's desire. So I'm going to leave it there, Capricorn. Have a great week, you guys.